go on this hill and be like, Yo, what's up? Dude, what the fuck? This guy's doing like Gangnam Style or something. Or the fucking Russian dance. Oh my lord, skills. Dude, this looks so uncomfortable. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to yet another Rome 2 Total War Siege Battle. This is going to be the start of a new series, um, just because of the fact that this battle was just absolutely insane with the chariot plays. Um, so we were, are going to be turning um, chariots or OP into a new Total War Rome 2 series. Um, this battle's chariot play was insane. There were 12 chariots in total. It was me, Marketable, and Multiplayer, I believe. Um, we were all playing as Iceni, so that way we could all bring four chariots. And before the battle, one of the enemy players had said, please, uh, please don't rage quit whenever your sally out doesn't work. And um, just wait, because this battle is insane. The amount of kills that these chariots got <laughs> were amazing. And overall, just oh, such a fun battle. Um, but yeah, guys, make sure you guys sit back, relax. Go grab a drink, go grab a snack, go jerk off a quick one, go call your grandmother and let her know that you love her, preferably not while you're jerking off a quick one. Do whatever you guys gotta do. Let's get into it. So yeah, as I was saying, we got three <laughs> Iceni defenders. We got, uh, basically, I kind of like, at the beginning we kind of decided I'd take the middle, multiplayer is going to take the left side, and, or I'm sorry, marketable is going to take the left side, hippie Jesus, and um, multiplayer is going to take the right side. Uh, we got a couple of chariots over at the front ready to sally out, we got a lot of chariots in the back, marketable has another unit of chariots back here, and later on I'll send a chariot, unit of chariots back there to, uh, to help him out. Didn't even realize he had a unit of dogs. Um, I've actually never used the dogs before. I don't have the dogs unlocked on Rome 2. If you guys know what DLC um, you need to get for to get like the dogs, is it the same one as the armored elephant DLC? I'm not sure. Um, anyways, you know, you got your typical Isenia, uh armies. You got chosen swords. You've got sword band. You've got slingers. You've got chariots, and you've got heroic nobles. Uh, looking over at our enemies, we've got Seleucid. The one who was telling us not to uh, to rage quit when our sally out didn't work. He's pushing up a bunch of tortoises with uh, a bunch of hillmen. Also sending up a decent amount of Theros spears and Thorax swords up onto the hill. So that way the towers could shoot into the uh, into the settlement against our troops. Right now I'm just kind of using my artillery to um, cheekily destroy the Nabatina artillery here behind the hill. Um, of course we have Nabatia coming in with a ton of armored desert hoplites. Um... And a few Axe Warriors with Nebati and Heavy Archers as well. And then we have Macedon, the Macedonian boys, purple boys, and just, god, they do look absolutely fantastic. Their armor is just beautiful. Pontus is still my favorite faction, but Macedon definitely has that just sexy look to them. Uh, Macedon, of course, bringing some Thorax Pikes, um, Thorax Swordsmen, Militia Hoplites, and Sarissa Cavalry, which I've never really seen used too much. I've never, you can never really see the Sarissa Cavalry utilized too much, so I wonder how they'll do, um, against our troops. Um, but yeah, just a decent amount of Thorax Swords and Pikes and everything else. Um, coming back over, uh, we do have Seleucid just moving up with their Hillmen, um, and then... Uh, I know Seleucid has the rest of their army hidden somewhere inside of the trees back here, so he does have um, four archers and um, a... Why can't I think of the super powerful javelin men, um, general unit who can throw javies? Oh, it's one of my favorite units too, and I just can't think of what it was called. He's got a really good general. Um, he's got Thorax swords and um archers inside of the background but yeah nabatia surprisingly just brought a ton of armor desert hoplites which don't get me wrong they're a fantastic union they can definitely do really well but it just surprised me with how many he brought i mean what he brought five brought five units of them and then a bunch of the really crummy nabatian axe warriors still honestly the worst unit in the game changed my mind um all right the hillmen are getting close um so now that the hillmen are getting close we're gonna go and send out our chariots 
um, to go and just wreak havoc because we can kill all these hillmen then it gives our towers even more time to be able to shoot at enemy any enemy forces that try to approach the wall um, so if we send up our and he doesn't really have much defending him yes he has a couple units of Theros spears um, but if we can engage with this unit destroy it and just move on before he can get those Theros spears up here then we'll be sitting pretty we'll be doing some pretty good work um, so yeah, we're going to be sending in our chariots and just starting to get some work. They are going to get some javies in, but and kill a couple of our chariots, but that's fine. Because our chariots, I mean, with the... As long as our chariots are engaged with the helmet, it will stop them from being able to throw more javies. Um, so as long as we just keep moving back and forth and making sure that those hillmen die, then it won't matter at all. Um, so we got one chariot just... Oh, look at those kills just shoot forward. 200 kills so far with this chariot and then we've got 100 kills with this chariot and look at that all of these hillmen are breaking and before he's able to move his Thor Theros spears up all the way we're gonna fall back our chariots we're gonna get back behind the walls before he can start throwing his javelins at us because we don't want him to be able to do that much damage against us um and mark it I believe it I believe that's Market's ballista uh but Market's using his ballista to kind of uh make sure that our retreat is covered we just don't want to try it we we're trying to make sure that we take as little losses as possible with our chariots um but yeah three oh my god almost 400 kills 395 kills i mean against again it's against hillman but with this battle it was on large fun so anything counts anything counts um so you know killing five units of hillman that's almost a thousand gold right there that's gone that is a thousand gold right there that's gone and then 121 kills with these chariots and they're still alive they still have what 15 dudes in left in both of them so five losing five chariots and taking out 400 guys i'd definitely say is worth it i um, mean these hillmen are so weak 60 49 45 and these are just the ones that came back um and this is just a spare unit of hillmen that he had in the background but yeah i mean we broke a decent amount of those hillmen um, and now they're gonna they're gonna send the hillmen back up and they're gonna try to uh, go and engage with the walls And so I decided to send my chariots back out and just engage with the hillmen yet again Just because I really didn't want him engaging with the walls. I wanted these towers to be able to do as much damage as possible um, But I saw that he did have his Theros spears close by so I'm like all right. Yeah, nope run run guys run get back inside of the walls Go 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 um, so we are going to be able to get us back in the walls pretty well here before he's able to do too much damage to our chariots. I think he killed, yeah, I think he kills one chariot, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. Um, I seen he, our multiplayer was going to send up a unit of slingers, um, because we were supposed to, to kind of distract those, uh, hillman units and make sure that they can't push back out, but sadly they are able to push those tortoises up, so let's just hope that he can get those slingers off the wall in time before they get absolutely demolished. Um, he is going to send out a unit of Levy Freeman to go and engage with those hillmen just to keep them from, you know, toppling down the walls. Um, and so he, since he is sending up that Levy Freeman and they are going to start engaging with them with those Theros spears, we are going to go ahead and actually try and send, um, more <laughs> chariots. Yeah, we're trying so hard to get those chariots through, but they're just not going through for us. Um, so that's why all you hear is, Riders forward! Riders advanced! Advanced at speed! Because I'm just like frantically right clicking on the battlefield trying to get my units outside as quickly as possible. Um, but because of the fact that he has another Levy Freeman coming outside of the wall, um, it's just difficult for me to get my chariots out. So then I, I kind of pulled him back. I waited for him to get his Levy Freeman out. And then I sent my chariots back out. Um, and then I believe Marketable is also going to send another unit of chariot Or his previous unit of chariots that we had sent out before. Uh, but yeah, this is perfect. The Theros Spears are completely engaged um, by the Levy Freeman. So we're just going to charge our chariots back out and just start absolutely mowing down these Theros Spears. Yep, we're going to lose a decent amount of chariots to, uh, to javelin volleys from these Thorax Swordsmen. But they're still in the fight with six guys left. And over 500 kills marketables chariots oh my lord and these chariots getting some racking up these kills as well and we're just absolutely demolishing um seleucid's army because he doesn't have any support from his allies i mean his allies have just kind of left him high and dry so this is a perfect opportunity for us to be able to engage with him and really just do as much damage as possible but yeah that chariot getting 300 or i'm sorry 537 kills which is insane. That chariot just got so many kills. Wow. 
And yeah, we did a lot of damage against these Theros Spears, these Thorax Swords, and we really, really weakened uh, the enemy's Seleucid army. And those was only with like two or three chariots. We still have nine to ten chariots left. Um, so if we're able to get almost a thousand kills with three chariots, just imagine what we'll be able to do with nine more. I mean, just with that in of itself, we took out half an army worth with three units. So I'm very excited to be able to see what happens with the other chariots. Uh, moving on to the other side, I just want to see if anything's happening yet. Yeah, so we were going to sally out, but then we saw that he had a lot of units. Oh, so we did sally out. I'm sorry. Uh, Market ended up selling out one of his chariots, but, uh, you know, our previous thought was that the cab was going to wreck our chariots because more elite cab can definitely do a lot of damage to chariots and destroy them. Um, but because this is just Sarissa cavalry, uh, we didn't really notice it until we started retreating. But hit Marketable's chariots were just tearing through this cavalry. I mean, they were getting absolutely destroyed. So you'll see soon. We're going to go back out and boom. Yeah, no hesitation. We're going to full send this. Um, and Market's going to go and send his chariots back out. I'm going to go and get my chariots back out. And we're going to go after this because this is just Levy Spearman and uh, Cavalry. So if we can come in, just mow through this Levy Freeman or Levy Spearman, I'm sorry, and then go after these towers, we can just get an absolute ton of kills. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to sally out there soon. Over here, they have broken down the walls. Multiplayer doing a fantastic job of holding back the enemy. We're going to go in slow motion because a lot happens here. So I decided to send in a unit of chariots um, to start mowing down these enemy units um, and try to support my ally as much as possible. I was trying to get him to move out of the way um, so that way I could get my chariot in there and just absolutely massacre this uh, Thorax Swordsman unit. But I saw that he had a lot of archers in reserve and he had a lot of units with Javi capabilities ready um to move in so i'm gonna get my chariots out of there i'm gonna get a, a couple of kills with these chariots um but i'm gonna get them out of there pretty quickly because i don't want them to get absolutely peppered down um by enemy archer fire by enemy javelins um but yeah again my multiplayer doing a fantastic job of holding off the enemy here um over here i'm holding off in the center against nabatea uh with, he's sending over his armored desert hoplite so i'm gonna go and send up a lot of cheaper units sword band and uh levy freeman to get my javi capabilities off and do as much damage to these armored desert hoplites as possible um just because i don't want to waste any of my elite units on a hoplite unit i want to save them for those powerful sword units that the enemies could bring um so yeah marketable is also uh lining up his unit of sword band over here so that way we can just get a ton of job javies off at these armored desert hoplites um moving back over here we do have a couple of units of levy spearmen moving close to the gates. Um, so Marketable is going to go and send up a weakened unit of Britain Slingers to help shoot down at these enemy levy spearmen. Um, but yeah, they're just going to set up in square formation right next to the gates just to try to make sure that we can't sally out against them. Um, and just keep getting peppered by archer by uh, tower fire and soon to be slinger fire. So we'll take it. I mean, we're just going to be able to do a lot of damage against them. So we will take that in a nutshell. Mastodon doing a really good job of putting pressure over on our left flank, um, but Marketable doing a fantastic job of just racking up kills over here uh, with these Chosen Swords band, just making sure that Mastodon can't uh, push through and can't uh, push back into the lines of our into our front lines. I'm sorry. Um, Nabatea is trying to send up a bunch of um, Nabatean Axe Warriors to come and support uh, Macedon's attack as well. Um, but just slowly but surely, he's moving up those towers. Moving back over to the center and to the right side, Multiplayer again doing a fantastic job of just breaking enemy units, doing a lot of damage to these Thorax Swords and breaking what's left of this Hillman unit. Um, and then Nabatea doing whatever he can to be able to support um, his allies endeavor into the walls. I'm still using the sword band to hold back these armored desert hoplites. We're just trying to get all of our troops into position so that way they can just start getting as much javy, javy um, capabilities off as possible. And if he wants to shoot his archers at my levy freeman, that is perfectly fine. That's what they're here for. They're here to take archer fire and they're here to use their javies up. Um, so if he wants to waste his archer fire and levy freeman, that is perfectly fine to me. But just look at that javy fire. Man... There's just so many Javis going to this Armor Desert Hoplite, so they're taking it like a champ. Like, they're taking a decent amount of losses, but not nearly as much as you would have expected from this much Javi fire. It's just absolutely insane. Those Armor Desert Hoplites are really good. With 90 armor and 55 melee defense, they can hold for a long time. Even with their melee attack, a 38 melee attack on a Hoplite unit is just beautiful. They can really do some great damage. 
Um, moving back over to the gates over here. Uh, we have decided to sally out with our chariots. Uh, me and Marketable are going because these Levy Freemen didn't have any Javi capabilities. So we're going to go over here and just absolutely melt them before they're able to get into square formation. Um, and we're just going to melt them with the chariots. And then we're just going to start slamming into all these towers. Um, since the troops are still in the tower, they're not able to get that much in the way of uh, Javi capability onto us. Um, so since they're kind of still stuck inside of the towers, uh, we are just going to keep going back and forth and doing as much damage as we can. And this Sarissa cavalry is actually just getting melted by these chariots, which surprised me. Because usually whenever I see cha cavalry go against chariots, they just do a ton of damage to chariots. So, I mean, yeah, I guess don't bring Sarissa cavalry? I mean, melee attack is 34. Wow, what's their defense? Health, 70. Like, you would expect them to do pretty good, but I think it's just because they're not armored. I think that's why they're not doing nearly as much. Uh, and Marketable's chariots do break, but with 170 kills, that was definitely worth it for a 900 cost unit. Definitely not bad at all, but I'm going to keep moving through. I'm just going to keep moving around my chariots and just doing as much damage as possible with chariots. You just want to keep circling around, circling around, circling around. Keep your chariots moving. Because if they're not moving, they're not getting kills. Because the kills are all based on their chariots being able to run over people and the little, like, sights that they have on the side. Um, so yeah. Um, Nabatia doing a great job of getting a lot of volleys off on these chariots, too. Just getting a lot of damage off, and soon my chariots are gonna break. But they broke with 425 kills, and they're gonna get more. Whenever chariots break, that's a good thing with chariots. When they break, they'll still run through enemy units and continue to rack up kills. So these chariots actually, like got out with what they're still getting kills right now 476 kills oh my lord and the other chariot unit that i got got almost 600 kills so just between two chariot units i've gotten a thousand kills not to mention the chariot units that marketable has used and multiplayer hasn't even utilized his chariots yet so we still have plenty of chariot reserves but i'm gonna go ahead and set up another unit of chariots over to this flank because we've got them scattered we've got them weakened so this is a perfect, I think that this would be a perfect opportunity for me to be able to just do a ton more damage with my chariots. Uh, moving back over to that front line, this unit of armored desert hoplites is still holding and they're doing whatever they can to get their archer fire off on our units that are engaged with these guys, but these guys are just sword band. They're just meant to hold the line, so if they want to waste their fire on all of our weaker troops, again, not a terrible idea, but we are perfectly fine for that with that. They can waste as much fire as they want to on our troops. Moving back over to multiplayer side, I did send over another unit of chariots. Uh, to try and support against these pikemen because I was trying to get them over to this flank to move back and then around these pikes so that way we could kill them but the enemy did a great job of just focusing them down uh, with archer fire and then making sure that they couldn't actually like move past anything um, to be able to flank these pikes so I they just kind of got melted that was bad plays on my part with those chariots but still we st I still have one chariot left over so I can still definitely do some heavy heavy damage uh, my chariot over here is just getting ready, getting his position, getting ready to be able to move outside of the gate. Um, so yeah, but yeah, Navity is just absolutely scattered. Um, he's used a lot of his javi capabilities on my other chariots and on Marketable's other chariots. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize this opportunity and just move my chariots outside of the gate. Um, so that way I can just start absolutely, hopefully wrecking these Nabatea new units or Nabatea units. Um, so that way they can't get onto the walls. But Nabatea knows that we have chariots. These guys are not happy about our chariots at all. So he, they are going to start trying to get their troops onto the walls as quickly as possible. Because if their troops are on the walls, um, then the chariots can't get to them. Sadly, horses don't have like, you know, rock climbing boots. They can't just like stick on the walls and then climb up onto the ramparts and just start, pet, you know, <laughs> running over people on the walls. Oh, just imagine that. What? Oh, I don't even know what I would do if I saw something like that implemented into a room too. That would be a very interesting mod to say the least. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just going to keep moving my chariots back and forth, trying to get as many kills as possible on these Nabatee and Axe Warriors. Because um, again, I just want to try to make sure that these Axe Warriors can't get onto the walls. Because um, as long as they can't get on the walls, then my chariots can just keep doing damage against them. So I'm just going to keep moving them back and forth. Uh, Mastodon is going to send up another one of that, one a depleted unit of Sarissa Cavalry. But yeah, they did a great job with that Javi capability and just absolutely melted my chariots. I didn't think they'd have that many Javis, but they really did. They did a lot of damage. Again, the chariots still getting 
you know, 170 kills, so that's not bad at all. Uh, almost 180 kills and from a 900 cost unit, that's not bad at all. Um, so I'll take it. Um, and we really weakened uh, the enemy army with those chariots. And then Marketable is going to go ahead and send up his chariots too to see if he can finish off my dirty work and try to make sure that Nabatea can't kill uh, or can't send up those units onto the walls. Uh, moving back over here. Oh, shoot. Okay, we missed it. Slow motion this. Slow motion this multiplayer so far multiplayer's chariots have gotten 660 kills multiplayer sent his chariots out the front gate engaged with nabatia's archers and nabatia's infantry moved over uh here got a ton of kills on the syrian heavy archers over here and then moved his chariots back up and just got a ton of kills over on the syrian heavy archers over here and getting almost 700 kills with those chariots and that was multiplayer's first chariot so multiplayer just killed more than one third like a little bit more than one third of like a typical rome 2 army with one chariot and at this point i'm pretty sure that this lucid player the one who was talking trash at the beginning left um because he's just kind of has his archer sitting there he's not really micromanaging his units at all he's just having his units sit there and take a bunch of fire he's not moving up he's not helping his allies i think he was just absolutely done with the chariot plays uh which i don't blame him chariots are incredible they are so good um so i honestly don't blame him for rage quitting at all he's like <laughs> i do not blame him but yeah these chariots doing a great job getting almost 270 come on can you make it to 270 kills can you make it come on 270 yes 272 can you make it to 800 you're so close you're so close six more dudes kill six more guys come on five more kills five more kills i believe in you get him chariot get him yes come on four kills four kills four kills 280 280 Come on, give me that 280. Come on. Yes, all right, he made it to 280. I'm a happy man. Uh, moving back over to that front line, uh, we are just going to go and clean up Seleucid since he has AFK, since he just kind of left his army to die. Um, so I just kind of sent up my slingers to be able to help uh, my Iceni ally multiplayer um pepper down the seleucid army and he's just going to go ahead and surround them and get them get them off the battlefield uh over here nabatea is doing whatever he can to be able to um kill our units over at the gate he's just trying to get inside of the settlement because if he gets inside of the settlement it'll be a lot harder for our chariots to move around uh because our if our chariots move around in an open field then it's going to be a lot easier for them to just kind of go back and forth back and forth and do a lot of damage to the enemy um so they want to try to get inside of the settlement to just make it as hard as possible to be able to get chariots um to be able to do our dirty work nabatia i mean all of their axes are extremely depleted but they're not out of the fight yet um so i went ahead and sent over a unit of sword band and, or two units of sword band um and i thought i had sent over a unit of chosen sword band as well uh maybe that was later on but a, two units of sword band over here to be able to help against the uh the Nab make sure that nabatea can't get into our flanks uh moving back over here any more chariots please come on you know i love those chariots multiplayer you gotta give me give me some love give me some of that chariot love now multiplayer is doing a fantastic job of just absolutely destroying uh the rest of the seleucid players army uh we got a unit of royal pelthus but again because he's afk we're able to easily surround them uh and with that unit of pikemen uh we're able to get onto their flanks while also just absolutely peppering them with the just insane amount of ammunition that we have left over um so yeah the seleucid player isn't much longer for this world nabatea is going to go ahead and set up some units of armored desert hoplites to be able to continue the push over on this gate as well um just try to put pressure on us at, in any way that he possibly can um so yeah he's just going to make sure that he's just going to go and try to support the uh seleucid's royal peltas and just try to push into these walls um so that way he doesn't have to deal with it but yeah multiplayer does still have a unit of chariots depleted chariots over here that he is ready to be able to send those out he's ready to be able to get those kills um he's just waiting for the perfect opportunity which is amazing uh, moving back over here, Nabatea is starting to break on these walls because they are taking a little bit of fire and they were already so weak, so weak from those chariots. I feel so bad. Just look at, well, just look at the dead. 
Look how many dead there are over here. Just, there's so many chariots, so many bodies, so many cavalry. There's just crazy. And not to even mention what's over here. Like, all of these poor, poor hillmen. I mean, they would have died either way, but just... They died without even being able to utilize their javi capabilities or anything. Just so many dead. Oh, these poor guys. Multiplayer is going to go ahead and send over their chariots to be able to put try to break through these armored desert hoplites. Um, just to be able to try to do as much damage as they can so that way we can actually break through them. Um, and he is going to go ahead and go through those armored desert hoplites and start going after those archers as well. Um, just to be able to try to take those archers out of the playing field, out of the battlefield so that way we don't have to worry about them later. Because those archers can do a lot of damage. We're a lightly armored um faction so they can definitely do a lot of damage but Nabatia sees this and is sending over a unit of noble cavalry which definitely can do a lot of damage to chariots noble cav is a very very powerful unit they do a, they can do a lot of damage to chariots um so yeah but the chariots are going to try to make their way through and just try to get these syrian heavy archers off the battlefield even if they aren't even if he's afk even if he decided to uh just kind of leave his computer on and go jerk off to some hentai or you know watch some netflix or whatever the case might be uh making sure that we get those um archers off the battlefield is still a great great idea just to make sure just in case he does come back that way we don't have to deal with them um but yeah moving back over to these walls again marketable doing a fantastic job i uh, sent over a unit of cheap sword man to be able to help him as well because i haven't seen too much action with my infantry uh but marketable just doing a fantastic job of doing a ton of damage against uh, macedon macedon definitely still has the strongest force here um and he's just trying to do whatever he can to be able to get through our units and be able to uh and get inside of the settlement and over here uh they did start to try to get nabati and axe warriors down off of the wall but Again, I sent over a unit of Chosen Sword Band and a unit of Regular Sword Band over here to stop these depleted units, uh, both Nabatea and Macedon, so that way they can't get the flank on us. And I also didn't want them to go for that victory point either, because they could go for a victory point cap. They could go for the victory uh, to winning the game from victory points, so I just wanted to try to make sure that they couldn't do that. Uh, moving back over here, that chariot unit that was engaged with the uh, the cavalry did break, but they did come back. So he did send out his other unit of chariots. Um, he's just going to try to get them through this general unit. Um, so that way, which has taken a decent amount of damage from the chariots. I'm trying to get some units over there to help engage with that general. So that way his chariots can have free reign on the enemy archers. Uh, but yeah, 156 kills. He's getting so many kills with these chariots. Just insane plays. Beautifully done done by everyone inside of this game just chariots are op and i feel bad i almost feel bad for bringing 12 chariots to this battle but that, i mean that wasn't against the rules or anything and usually if i see four i city players i know that i'm gonna be fighting against four chariots but i really don't know what they could have done against these chariots i mean chariots are just so hard to kill if you don't jabby them down then it's really difficult to kill them and yeah these chariots were even able to kill these uh Nabati and noble cavalry just doing a fantastic job getting 230 kills oh and this chariot over here is still coming back still coming back for more uh to be able to get more kills on these archers so well done by my allies these archers are breaking um this front line over here is pretty much broken and we're still very very healthy um of course mastodon is still trying to put up a great fight trying to get his archers on the wall shoot down on our guys uh trying to do whatever he can to get his thorax swords through nabatea doing whatever he can to support his allies endeavor uh to be able to try and get over to this victory point uh to try and distract us as well but i just i don't think it's going to be enough guys i think it's safe to say with all just all of the blue that you see on the battlefield uh, the balance of power and how Macedon is doing, I think it's safe to say that we're going to get a win on this one. But that's not what you guys came here for. You guys came here for the chariot plays. And if you think that's over, oh no. There's still chariots to be played with. That sounded wrong. I'm not trying to fuck a wooden like platform. That's just gross. But yeah, there's, there's still chariots. And they have a blob of units just sitting here ready Two units of Mercenary Queen Archers, which surprisingly he hasn't utilized. He hasn't used any ammo from these guys. He's still got two units of Thorax Pikemen and a Royal Peltus unit just ready to be slammed up the ass with chariots. So it's going to be very, very fun. Uh, multiplayer is just getting just chariots set up and ready to charge in. He's still got that unit of depleted chariots. 
or I'm sorry, two units of depleted chariots, and I think there is still one unit of chariots inside of the walls that hasn't been, yep, and he's still got one full unit of chariots inside of the walls that hasn't been utilized yet. Um, I have successfully broken through uh, Nabatea's depleted unit, so I'm going to go ahead and start sending my sword band along the wall over here to help against the Thorax Swordsman on the wall and the archers on the wall. Um, Macedon is going to start trying to get on the walls, um, but seeing that, that's a perfect opportunity for these chariots to get over there because then they can't utilize their ammo as well. They are spread out, they're weakened, so these chariots are going in. They're breaking, but let's hope they can get in there before they break because I want to see some chariot kills. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Archers aren't even looking. The archers aren't even looking. Oh, what? How did he die? Oh, oh, these poor, poor archers. Oh, they just got destroyed, dude, by chariots. These guys are getting so many kills. They're taking jabbies, but they're still getting so, so many kills. Oh, beautifully done. It doesn't even matter. Those archers just got wrecked. Oh, come on, come on. You can break a unit of archers. You can break a unit of archers. You got this, I believe. You're not broken yet, and you came back. Come on, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. And then we got a fresh unit of chariots coming in here. Come on, boys, come on. Get those kills, get those kills. Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Get that Royal Peltist unit. Get that Royal Peltist, get that General. Or oh, I'm sorry, that's, yeah, no, wait, that's a Thorax Pike and a Royal Peltist. There's just so many of them. Come on, chariots, come on. Come on, keep going. God, they're getting 223 kills. 330 kills. God. Chariots, dude. Chariots are so overpowered. And their pikes aren't down. Their pikes, oh, their pikes are down, but they're facing the right way. Or, I mean, the wrong way. Keep getting them, chariots. Keep getting them. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that's just so beautiful. Come on, chariots. Go, go, go. Turn around. There you go. The pikes are, they're putting the pikes down, but they're turning around the wrong way. Keep getting those kills. Dang, that chariot, like, didn't do anything. I don't think. I was like, what? Or maybe he did? Oh, yeah, no, he got some kills. No! No, chariots, no! No! Don't charge into pikes! Oh, you hate to see him go like this. Oh, my lord. And they're just held together by, like, some sort of twine. I still have no idea how they're able to do that much damage, but beautifully done. And then we got a bunch of troops outside of the walls. I got a unit of slingers to support. We got a bunch of troops going onto the walls uh, to try and do as much damage as possible. But, well played. Kudos to the two enemies that didn't just kind of bail out. Kudos to my allies. That was such a fun game. It was a very, very quick one. But... That's just because chariots are overpowered. Let's let's be honest here. Chariots are so OP in this game. If you can't get jabbies off on the chariots before they crash into you, then just pray. Just pray that you're going to get a lucky sword strike into the wheel of the enemy chariot or a lucky sword strike into the heart of the enemy driving the chariot because without it, you're you're dead. You're done. Um, and they are able to start breaking some of our units outside of here, but I'm sending a couple of units of fresh chosen swords band or tired for chosen swords band. I'm sorry. Um, over here to be able to engage with these pikemen and with these uh, royal peltists and with this other unit of pikemen as well. Um, and then we should. Oh, sorry guys. I'm. I just got done doing a lot of yard work and stuff, so I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we should be able to break through these units. We should be able to do as much damage as possible. Uh, but yeah, guys, again, just one minute left on the clock. I. I, I don't think Macedon's going to pull this off with three units. Of course, anything's possible. It's Total War, but if about if you look at the balance of power, you can barely see any red. I don't. I just don't think they're going to be able to do it. The Royal Peltis is at 88. Their Pikeman is at 119. They don't have any archers. We still have so much ammunition. I just I don't think Macedon's going to be able to do it. Um, let's go into slow motion real quick and just look at, admire these dead bodies real quick. I mean, like, that sounds terrible, but just look at how much dead is in here. The walls, oh my god, the ground, look at Marketable's battle over here against Macedon. Oh, again, well done, Marketable, for holding that off. If you guys haven't seen Marketable's content, he does have a Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash marketable skills. He's a fantastic streamer. Streams Rome 2 all the time. So if you like my content, you got to go check out Sexy Hippie Jesus. He is such an incredible streamer. Such an incredible guy. So you definitely got to go check it out. 
Um, but yeah, just look at all of the dead bodies over here. Oh my lord. It's just, it's just crazy. There's just so much dead here. Oh man, chariots OP guys. Chariots are so OP and Mastodon is starting to break. The general has died. Uh, Mastodon's two pikemen are starting to break. They're going to try to stand one last time. But it's just not going to be enough. Their morale is low. Their general is dead. Their allies have fallen. They don't know how many more chariots we have inside of the settlement. They do not want to deal with us at all. And here we go, guys. The last stand. Last stand of the pikes. Come on, you guys. You can do it. Get them chosen. Get them chosen. Get them chosen. Yeah, and there they go. They're, they're done. Oh, my lord. But let's look at these chariot kills, guys. Because that was absolutely... Oh, 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 God, dude, instant boner. Look at those chariots, dude. 546 kills, 182, 476. The chariot that shall not be named. Do you guys don't see that. Just ignore that. That That's not there. Look at over multiplayer's chariots. 676 kills, 232, 330 marketable kills marketable skills marketable skills <laughs> uh 202 kills 285 196 and 221 wow almost a thousand kills worth of cherry almost half of marketable skills was some was from chariots um definitely probably more than half of multiplayer's kills were from chariots and then my yeah i definitely yeah half of my kills were definitely from chariots as well so that was crazy but yeah no many props to my allies and my enemies for playing in this battle i probably would have rage quit as soon as i saw how many chariots or as soon as i saw three different icenies coming after me so kudos to them for still playing on the battle again kudos to my allies for still playing on this battle um here's nabatia's kills here is Macedon's kills, and here is Lu I was just about to say Lusitani, really? Seleucid's so kills. There we go. Um, so yeah, if you guys were interested in that as well. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys liked it and you want to see more of it, please, please, please be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If you guys didn't like it, please hit that dislike button. I'd love to be able to hear why you didn't like it and what I can do to improve my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, if you guys also like this content, make sure you check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash C-A-P-N-4-I-S. I stream um, as of right now, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 12 p.m. MST, so make sure that you guys don't miss that, um, and I'd love to be able to see you guys and talk to you guys in real time as well, but again, guys, thank you so much for watching the stream. I really do appreciate every one of you sexy-ass motherfuckers, and I will see you again soon. Peace!